It's, um, it's a bit mystical too because it's invisible, which is something that, something that I think about. So the guitars here, you can't see the music, right? You can see my hands moving and you can see the object that co-creates the music, but you can't see the music unless you have synesthesia. And that I think is quite an interesting point. So it has this mysticism to it. It's this invisible, impermanent thing. It's not even a painting, right? You do a painting, you can look at it and you can hang it on your wall. Um, it's only been in the last, you know, as far as the, the timeline of uh, recorded history goes, like you've only been able to record music and keep it for just a blip. Before that, all music was completely ephemeral. So you'd play it, you'd hear it in a room, play it on instruments, and then it was gone. So it was, an, it was experiential. And looking back in, in time, you see how certain cultures have explored that through um, rites of passage, uh, religious ceremony, um, all that kind of stuff, right? Music plays a part in almost every culture. So it's, it's universal in a sense.